five break and the magic controlling the opening tip is Anthony Hardaway works against Kevin Johnson and here is Shaquille O'Neal going glass and surprise surprise right into Shaquille O'Neal no question the is guarding Charles Barkley Dan Barley has been hitting the three as of late gets it inside to Barkley and Charles felt there was contact there uh, the back for Shaquille O'Neal no double team as he goes at Mark West and West did a good job there defensively, forcing Shaq to take a... Mark West in the starting lot of these days, what with the injury suffered by Oliver Miller. And Shaquille O'Neal is doing whatever he wants. The back of the Maltes being handled by Nick Anderson these days. Yes, they call it a jammed jawbone. Never heard of that. I hope you don't get one, Mark. Well, <laughs> you're you well, in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Shaquille. Shaq again, no double team. Feels it, understands it and really likes his touch early in this game, but I still don't think the Phoenix bench is concerned to distribute the ball. Orlando has come out and hit seven of eight from the field. Hardaway, for, no, he changed his mind and fouled Avon. Nice play with Hardaway. Uh, or miss. Something they have not been able to do recently. Hardaway getting inside, making it look very easy. Well, out of the double team that time, nice outlet. Out of bounds. Shaq getting the double team. Dan Marley coming down, knowing where the spot ups are, has Anthony Hardaway wide open to do whatever he wants. A terrible job of deep. Back comes Barkley. Barkley with the lead for Sabanos. Nicely done by the Sun. And two straight fast breaks, and now a turnover on a careless inbound pass. Anthony Abent trying to find Anthony Hardaway. A little while ago, Marv, I said the Suns want to run make or miss. That means after a made field goal by the Magic, they would like to get it out of the net and get going as well. Here's Sabalos, one of the best finishers in the NBA, getting the easy feed from Charles Barkley. Cedric Sabalos with the 28-16. Shaquille O'Neal. The rebound. Johnson for Barkley. Barkley gets inside. Third field goal. He has six points, and the game is tied at 20. Dennis Scott for three. Yes. Well, it's been a dry spell for Dennis. He has only made three out of his last 19 three-point attempts. That had to feel good for Dennis reading that one. And Charles Barkley comes right back. Anthony Evans called for the foul. And there's an example of getting it out of the net and getting it inbounds. And this was the play before was Charles under control. And now the quick post up by Charles Barkley as he gets excellent inside position. Oh, this misses two layups. Unusual for him around the basket. He usually had a very good touch. Yes, we did have some audio problems earlier. Shaquille O'Neal having no problems. He has 12 points, six with 2.20 to go in this first quarter. It's the Magic by three. The lead for Shaquille. Oh, he is just tearing it up. Well, his first to dunk in the book. Hill gets it out to Anderson, kicks it back to Scott. Three-pointer by Dennis Scott. Rebound, Nick Anderson for Shaquille well, it all started with the excellent outlet pass by Shaquille O'Neal from the double team. That Shaquille O'Neal, since the All-Star break, and hey, those aren't bad numbers prior to the All-Star game, but he has been uh, on a mission, it appears, and he's been able to tear it up here in this first quarter. 16 points in all, and Matt, he's done it with the entire repertoire. A uh, variety showing to the... Uh, Phoenix Suns here this afternoon, a little head fake and the turnaround jumper, finishing off a fast break, alley-oop from Dennis Scott, after the throw out of the double team, gets it back on a nice dish by Nick Anderson, and you can see Shaquille is pumped this afternoon. Here is Shaquille, just powering his way past We've seen the turnaround jumper. We've seen the tomahawk inbound. That snapped a 10-game home win streak by the Phoenix Suns. Chris Stoliak set up by O'Neal. And once again, Dan Marley stepped in. Kevin Johnson can guard him as well. Here's Shaq rolling into the lane. Picks up the rim very quickly. On a nice touch on the hook shot. And now the pick and roll once again. Feels contact and knows where everybody is spotted up on the floor and makes the easy pass to Larry Kraskoviak. In fact, they don't really see Charles over there on the bench. Oh, there he is. He's at the 
end of the bench. Shaquille again. He is 10 of 11. 20 points on the field. He had a 16 for 17 game earlier this season. Charles Barkley back, trying to back his way on Kristoviak, and does. Just as the double team got there, Charles spent a lot of time on the bench, and ideally on the fly pattern. And not really all that upset that that didn't click. You like to keep the defense honest that way. Oh, yeah. oh by Hardaway, exploding off the dribble. Orlando 48 by the Magic. The crossover move by Hardaway, whipping around Sabato. Well, Teddy Hardaway has a, such a quick first step on the crossover move. A lot of guys can only do that from the standstill. Teddy Hardaway just has that knack. Would there have been problems late in ball games? This is something we, we touched on earlier in the season with the uh, two players. Booty is again able to line drive at home, and Orlando leads by one. Two players, Phoenix ball trailing by one. Five on the 24. Barkley. Charles Barkley very much on target. He has 12 points. 10 seconds to go. Two in a row. Victories over Miami. And the walloping of the Washington Bullets, 142-106 after they lost two straight. Charles Barkley providing the Suns with a... And he did have Friday night, however. Kevin Johnson, Dan Barley at the guard. Charles Barkley, Cedric Sabino, Mark West up front. That's a three for Charles Barkley. He amazes himself sometimes. And will get it back. The pick and roll here, and Penny Hardaway loses himself on the big back of Charles Barkley and could not recover. Charles given all kinds of room. The Magic will be very happy to let Charles shoot quite a few of those. For the side. living in the past. It's so <laughs> sad. But you will see Dennis Johnson next week as Marley fires from way outside. Another three. Dan Marley the line by Avan. Anderson. Oh! Orlando down by two. And for the reasons, Matt, very few whistles. And that foot makes it, I think, very, very entertaining. That may change as we progress right here as Shaquille bulls his way into the lane. Here's a draw kick situation with Nick Anderson. And that's the play I was talking about where Shaq would normally get fouled and go. And was six for nine from downtown. It's a two-on-one. Marley returns to Barkley. Well, it wasn't pretty, but Dan Barley got that ball caught on his hip, almost a three-second violation. This fast break ignited on the bad pass from Nick Anderson trying to find Hardaway. Dan caught this caught, got the ball caught on his right hip, but Charles Barkley. That's created, are created because Kevin Johnson presents so many problems on pick-and-roll situations that you have to play help defense, and it gives openings to other players. Anderson for three! Suddenly, Orlando hit last. Handled by Anderson. Scott for three. Rebound for Kira. Orlando cuts it with Scott Skiles. And Larry Kristoviak are back on the floor. O'Neal, yes. Scott trying to clear it out. They double up. Kristoviak with the easy layup. Now Charles Barkley fell asleep that time. His job there is to protect the lane and the basket. To his left off the dribble, not his strongest play. As Shaquille O'Neal, who has really had the range on his jump shot and his little hook here. He eyeballs the whole floor, sees it beautifully. Wide open spaces in the lane as Charles Barkley let that... Orlando by four. Here's Barkley hitting the three. His second from downtown this afternoon. And the Suns are now within one. And, and again, Dennis Scott taking the ball off the dribble. A lot of people think he is just one-dimensional as a perimeter shooter as Charles Barkley with the three as he is back on track. Rebound one down by Kristovia. 
Passing for Emilio. Will it count? Yes, it does. Of course, Shaq never got back on defense. And on the play for the Suns, Charles Barkley realized it. He tried to finesse that layup there and didn't take advantage of the good chance. And now there's overpowering move by Shaquille O'Neal as Mark West tried to prevent that shot going up off the good feed by Nick Anderson. Getting hurt on the offensive boards throughout this game. Hardaway for O'Neal. Missed the stop. He went off the back rim. And I think Charles went up there to foul him and nothing was called. Harley for Barkley. Yes, and it counts. Charles Barkley will go to the line. Charles this time kept himself under control as Shaquille O'Neal was late getting back on defense once again. Charles has had a few of those opportunities. He knows there's nobody else in there to block a shot with the exception of maybe Penny Hardaway. But Charles released the ball too quickly. Larry Kristoviak committing the foul. And Barkley seeking a three-point play. Five of seven for the line. Not enjoying the, the by play with the fans. Nick Charles loves it. He loves the holding. He loves competitive games. But it, it almost looks like the Suns are celebrating an eight-point lead. And Shaq, so busy trying to stay with Barkley, did not protect the lane or the basket, and opening the lane to Kevin Johnson. That counts, and the foul. 38 points for Shaquille O'Neal, and he'll go to the line. Foul committed by Danny Ainge. A high pick and roll play for Orlando. It's been good to them. Ainge getting there, but way too late and not strong enough to prevent that shot by Shaquille O'Neal as Barkley attempts to help. 